actress and comedian. Her new Netflix special, Good Fortune, is out now. Take a look. The best part was the entertainment. They had a woman from the church choir singing, and this was her big solo moment, and she took center stage so confidently, and she started singing, Go tell it on the mountain, over the hill and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Ginger got married. Please welcome Fortune Feaster. Oh, I wanted to be proud with my vocals. You did. But... I said we might have to put on the church program yeah, after that on. selection. <laughs> I think we should. A little <laughs> duet. I mean, you'll have to really sing, and I'll just do a little. Hoo -hoo. I'll take it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how did you get started in comedy? I tell you, I kind of fell into it. Mm -hmm. I moved out to Los Angeles to work, and it was so hard to meet friends out here. I think just being lonely led to it. I started taking improv classes at the Groundlings, and uh, my teachers really encouraged me to keep going. Uh, and then I started doing sketch comedy, and, and a, a, a woman came to my show and was like, you should be doing stand-up. And I was like, well, it looks really hard. And she just really encouraged me, and, there and here I, you are. here I am. Oh, my yeah. God, that's amazing. Right? Yeah. You can't let fear keep you grounded. So did you, all, did you ever want to be a comedian? I mean, in high school, I would, you know, watch Saturday Night Live mm -hmm. and learn these sketches, and then I would play sports and go reenact these sketches for my teammates. I would do the Mary Catherine Gallagher uh, <laughs> character where I'd smell my armpits <laughs> and things like that. So it was in there, but uh -huh. I'm from a tiny town of 9,000 people. I 9, did not, people. yeah, a small town. I did not think that you could make a living doing comedy. I did not think about Hollywood, any of that stuff. So it's a miracle Is it to a be miracle? here. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then you used to be in the Girl Scout? I was. was like? I was a Girl Scout, which was a lot different than my brothers. They were in the Boy Scouts, uh, which got very <laughs> intense. Um, I think Girl Scouts, we mainly, you know, hung out around fires and braided each other's hair and ate cupcakes. That's what Girl Scouts That like. was Girl Scouts, and then my brothers would get dropped off on the top of a mountain with... What? A, yeah, like an egg and a match, and they were like, see you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm all like, <clears throat> I'm like, who wants to do a massage train? <laughs> it was a whole different experience. So I have no survival skills now whatsoever. No. You didn't sneak over there with the boys and try no, to do what they were I mean, doing? No, I, I was too dainty. I talk about it in my, in my special. I, I'm a lot... A lot daintier than what meets the eye. Oh, I, uh, yeah. So that <laughs> you laugh way too hard at that. <laughs> they get a she's kick like, out of it. She's like, you do not look dainty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you grew up in the church. I did. I grew up in the Methodist Church, uh -huh. uh, which I uh, joked uh, was Christian light. Uh, we just cared that the preacher. Christian light. Yeah, we just cared that the preacher was done with the sermon by noon so that we could beat the Baptists <laughs> to the Chili's. That's all we cared about. So. Yeah, I understand that my son's not too different. To get him to go to church, I had to promise him Popeyes. Yeah, you gotta have some sort yeah. of treat. If, you know, you're like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> also, I'm hungry. <laughs> but you, I, the old ladies in church would also be antsy. You could see them looking at their watch. Just oh, being really? like, preacher, wrap it up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> but yeah, my, my mom is still an active member and she, she got remarried at oh. the, our Methodist church and okay. decided to have a circus-themed uh, wedding. A circus-themed yeah. wedding? What is that like? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, she rented a red and white striped circus tent and had them put it inside our fellowship hall, not outside where tents go. <laughs> Yeah, it was like there was a you know cotton candy maker and really? a hot dog cart. I think she thought that it was her, you know, 13th birthday party. Um, I will say, spoiler alert, that marriage lasted three months. Oh, my so. goodness. I don't... I guess that was the time. I don't think he was into the circus thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so your comedy special so good, you filmed it in Chicago. I did. You know that's my hometown. I know. Yes. I thought you would be proud of me. Chicago, girl, I want to hear all about that. Why Chicago? 
so I uh, I got married in the uh, thick of the pandemic, mm -hmm. and uh, mm, congratulations! Thank you. I appreciate that. Nice. Um, and I met my now wife in Chicago. Uh, mm -hmm. We met seven years ago at Gay Pride in Chicago. Which really? Is, yeah. Ooh, that sounds extra fun. Yeah, because you know Pride in Chicago is huge. It's, it is. It's so popular and fun. So I went there, and we we randomly met. And my first special, I talked a lot about. Uh, growing up and finding myself and figuring out who I was. So I shot that in North Carolina because that's where I'm from. Uh, so I continued that narrative of like being an adult. I talk about uh, getting engaged and getting married and it just felt like a nice um, sort of, uh, I don't know, personal touch having it be in Chicago it's because that's weekend. where I met uh, my wife and, and I wanted to that's beautiful. Yeah, celebrate that. I love it. Yeah, and Chicago also is such an awesome city. It's an awesome city. Come on. That's my hometown. Okay, and you filmed it in a theater. What was that like? Yeah, I filmed it at the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Mm -hmm. Out there on Navy Pier. Um, and it was, it was amazing, because I, I really love storytelling. Mm -hmm. I, I tell longer stories. I like to take people on a journey. And I just think theaters are such a beautiful place to do that. Because, you know, in a comedy club, they're like, nachos, you know? like. <laughs> Asking for more ketchup, and it's you're you're just like shouting over people eating sliders. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. In a theater, it just it, it's a, a good place to be able to tell those longer stories and connect. I gotta know, how did you propose? Well, I'll tell you this: the movies make it look very romantic <laughs> and very easy, and unless you have a team of producers to do it, it does not always go as planned. <laughs> because I wanted it to look like you know it did in The Bachelor with like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, candles and rose petals and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And it, it went awry. We walked in the room, it looked like a crime scene. It was weirdly lit with rose petals like everywhere, but just like very chaotic. Like someone opened the door and a bunch of stuff flew in the room and <laughs> somebody got a leaf blower and blew it around. Because <laughs> when you guys think of roses what in romance, what color do you think of? I think of red. Red, yeah. right. Well, these were white rose petals and half dead. And I, I, I Googled what do white roses stand for. It's chastity, in case you're wondering. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, it just, everything like, went awry. Like, the chocolate-covered strawberries were put right in front of a, a roaring fireplace. And they melted? Melted, the champagne on ice melted, and it, I, yeah, my, 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 well, then fiance had no idea I was about to propose, because it was not a very romantic situation. Oh, God. So I ended up just, I forgot to get on my knee, I just, like, blurted out, you wanna? And <laughs> thankfully, she said she got yes. it. She said yes. Well, she yeah. got it. Oh, she did say yes. oh my God. But it, yeah, she thankfully said yes. And yeah, two years later, we've been married now. Two years later. Congratulations. Thank you. OK. So I thought it would be fun to hear your opinion, opinions on different subject matters, right. OK? This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I can't wait to hear your response. Man buns. Man buns. Normally I'm into cinnamon buns, but man buns. Uh, I will tell you this. I have been asking my audience about man buns lately, uh -huh. and it, they are divided on it. There are some people that are hard nosed, but then you're like, what about like Jason Momoa? And then they're, oh, I like a man bun. So I personally like a man bun. I think, okay. hey, why not? If your hair is getting in your face, just put it up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This is a good one too. Fake nails. Fake nails. <laughs> now I don't roll like that. I have. I know. I know you have these beautiful. You got the right nails. ones in here. Okay. I'll tell you this. I, I guest starred on an episode of Claws, and they gave me the big nails. You wore the big nails. Yeah, and I couldn't pull my pants up. <laughs> <laughs> I was so like it was a task. So I don't know how. I don't know how you text oh my or God. do computer stuff. Do you? Are you? Have you nailed it? Like, yeah. It? <laughs> nailed it? <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. That is hilarious. Ooh, small dogs versus big dogs. I'm partial to small dogs mm -hmm. uh, because I have a little Pomeranian. That's oh, my dog. what's your dog's name? That's Biggie. Biggie? Yeah. Oh, if you ever need a dog sitter oh, up here, OK. Please, he would love that. Uh, you could sing him to sleep. I will sing him to sleep. <laughs> <Damn. Okay. laughs> Pineapple 
on pizza. No. Oh, come on. You like this? I love it. You I, do? Now, I know, I know it's probably a sin in Chicago to put pineapple on pizza. Y'all are very hardcore about pizza, but yes. I love it. I like the sweet and salty of it. Yeah. I don't know about that fortune. And it is the only time I eat fruit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I get it. I get it. Put it on pizza. And I, yeah, that's how I get my fruit. <laughs> That, they're giving it big thumbs down right there. We're going to leave that to you. All right. I'll eat it. Thank you so much for being here. Will you come back? Oh, please, absolutely. We're so grateful to have I you. I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fortune Fiendsters, Good Fortune is streaming now on Netflix. We'll be right back. Don't forget to subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell so you're the first to see our latest videos.